Okay. Now this one's for both of you. Um, what did you know about the Steelers as an organization before Alex, you became a Steeler? I mean, I knew they were one of the best organizations in the NFL, you know, historically, um, you know, just, you know, the history of, them, you know, just there's so many Steeler greats and Steeler legends, you know, me, Joe Green, Terry Bradshaw, uh, Jack Lambert, you know, for, for my position. And, you know, just, I remember, you know, I grew up a Panthers fan and um, I remember, in 2018, it was a Thursday night football game, and uh, it was it was the Panthers were like six and two, and the pretty sure the Steelers were five and two at the time. And I remember going to that game, and um, a couple of my roommates were Steelers fans. I was like talking trash to them, and uh, <laughs> you know, ended up ended up whooping the Panthers. And um, I just like you know watching that game I was like, you know, that that's that's a heck of an organization. And so I'm um, just you know blessed to truly be a part of the best organization in the NFL. And so, but yeah, I, I didn't know like. Too many players, but you know, I definitely know that the the, the, um, the history is rich in this program, so I'm just proud to be a part of it. Yeah, my um, memory goes back to the late '70s, um, early '80s. Um, you know, high school time, just going into college, I definitely knew of the, the great Steelers teams, and I was a Rams fan. I remember sitting there thinking we were going to actually going to win that game. I think that was the '80 Super Bowl, um, and it didn't really work out that well, but. Um, I have a lot of good friends, co-workers. Uh, my good friend, Sam Cantor, is an administrator here in the county like me. Rabbit Steelers fan. He has almost just stacked with Steelers and, 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 and Pirates and all the, the things, all these things. I was like, what is this? And I, I just <laughs> got to know more people. And I just realized this is this is definitely a nationwide phenomenon, kind of. It, it's crazy. And one of the things, me as a parent, um, wanted him to be part of an organization that was solid. And um, I was an administrator, school administrator, so I understand the, just how that's set up and how your, 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 your school and your organizations are, are kind of all connected when there's this strong leadership up top. And obviously the Rooney family and Coach Tomlin is amazing. And personally, I'm very, very happy that um, he has the opportunity to learn from Coach Tomlin. So that's been, Thank I've you. never, and there was a super Steelers fan, but I always respected him, but I always had a lot of admiration for him. Sam, at what age was Alex when he started to realize, like, this could be a possibility for his son? <laughs> you just my, I'm answering this? Yes. I will probably yeah. see later to him. I will say, so we're talking the NFL. I thought it was a real possibility um, at the end of his red shirt freshman year. Okay. Um, and he's told stories. I'm not going to retell the story of um, just how he developed. You guys might ask more specific questions about that. But when he actually got on the field, and he was very productive. He was playing behind one of his best friends. Um, but when he got reps, very productive. Um, I said, this guy needs to be on the field. As I said to myself as a parent. And he, and the funny thing was, he was so confident. He came home and talked to us. And I remember he, we had some conversation. He mentioned something about when I get to the league. And I just, I didn't make any facial expression. I told myself, man, you got some big dreams there, buddy. But um, we just talked through it. And, he knew that. So I think it was a combination of those two things. I knew it was a possibility. 